Hey guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you here. If you're new, drop a comment down below so I can at least come and say hi. And guys, you know how I usually like taking you around with me in London, but we are in a lockdown at the moment. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown. We only leave home for limited reasons, such as to shop for essentials. So it might be interesting for you if I show you supermarkets in London. Or is it just me that I think that this is interesting or you also find it interesting? Oh, and guys, okay, I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor. I have a new goal for my channel is to hit 1K before my birthday on the 26th of March. So I would love if you can all join and subscribe and hopefully we can all get there and our community will grow. Just a couple of notes before we go. First of all, I always try to buy seasonal fruit and veggies, which is not really a big thing here in the UK and sometimes I see like people buying watermelons in January and I'm so confused but I try sticking to the seasonal ones because they actually taste better and uh... so at the moment in season we have grapefruits oranges kiwis lemons and uh, all those citrus fruits and in terms of veggies there isn't much of a choice, it's mostly like root veggies, like potatoes, of course, sweet potatoes, parsnips, carrots, <laughs> carrots, beetroot, and all those things. And of course, I try to stay healthy, it makes me feel good, and not to forget that the holidays finished recently, so... We will first go to Sainsbury's, and we'll after that go to this kind of a small market from where I get my produce, because it's plastic-free, and also so uh, they taste better and it's cheaper and it's kind of a win-win situation. I also made this list of things that we are supposed to do. I mean, I never actually do it, to be fair. I think it might be Hi, fun. Hi, everybody. I just happened to be connected. Yeah. Ah, this seemed like a good idea. My pantry is kind of crying at the moment. I also bring bags with me because as I told you I'm trying to reduce waste. These are the bags that I will be bringing. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's a little bit cold. And here we are in the supermarket and since you're not retarded and I don't think I need to explain to you what are we looking at, let me hit you with a couple of fun facts about British supermarkets or at least things that I find quite interesting. You can find any type of fruit and veggies literally all year round, like you can get watermelon in January or melons or like these mangoes. I find it quite interesting that apples are sold in bags by six or by four or individual ones but they're not sold per kilo okay maybe that's not so much fun but it's this is not actually the case in Italy or in Bulgaria there are lots of ready meals like this pizza and most of the times uh, they also have vegan versions and attention to all Italians watching this video we also have fresh pasta here in London and prices go from 120 and to like two pounds depending on the brand Ooh, sales that's what we love and something else which i totally love about supermarkets here is that there is such a big choice of vegetarian and vegan options and many people try to reduce their consumption of meat and dairy this might shock you or maybe not but by 2025 vegans and vegetarians will make up to a quarter of the British population and something which I cannot really explain why I find so satisfying is that cheese comes into strength levels from 1 to 5 imagine you're coming from a long day you go to the groceries and you're like yeah it's the level 4 kind of night and I have another super fun question for you in the country where you live where are usually eggs stored because here usually you can find them in the baking sections and they're never in the fridge which i find quite odd 
It's interesting that there's no one actually. This is the place form where we always get our fruit and veg because it's way cheaper, there is no plastic and also the produce is always fresher and every bowl that you see in there it's only one pound. Kale, tomato sauce and we found this from the vegetarian butcher that I haven't seen before here in the UK so I thought that we might try them but they're quite expensive. Milk, the super basic one, because to be honest with you, I don't really see such a big difference in uh, plant-based milks, so we usually get the super basic one. Frozen broccoli and cauliflower, green beans. They weren't on the list, but they were just one pound, so I thought that I can get frozen meat-free sausages. This is usually our kind of go to dinner when we are super busy in the evening and we just want to have something quite fast. If you're wondering what do I eat in a week, the video will be coming up next week because many of you ask. No, I'm joking. No one actually asked, but I thought that I can share this with you. Coffee, because I drink lots of coffee to be honest. Mushrooms, tuna. We get the one in olive oil, but unfortunately it was finished. A huge mango because it was on sale. Beans. Rice, super basic rice, sweet corn, two of these, more tomatoes, <laughs> chickpeas, we have two cans of this. By the way guys, do you know that I received this email from Sainsbury's where it said like which is the most bought product and it was exactly this chickpeas. To be honest with you, I would have literally never guessed it in a million years. What is the product that you buy on a regular basis? Let me know. Kalamata olives, I love olives. Also some recycled toilet paper. This is everything that I bought from Sainsbury's. Things which I got from this uh, fruit and veg store because it, apparently these fruit and veggies were not enough. Pears, and this thing was only one pound. I actually put everything into two of these bags so now uh, it's gonna become a little bit messy but i want to show you everything that i got okay they're a little bit dirty but it's quite normal to be honest we have six onions oh no actually it's one more it's seven onions apparently eight and we have some apples five oranges this huge sweet potatoes lots of tangerines i actually have more but i just can't Hold them all together. Then of this, it's so colorful in here. For all the fruit and veggies, I spent only 10 pounds. A huge pomelo, four avocados, and the four of them were one pound, which is crazy because if you go to the supermarket, usually a single avocado costs only a pound. The only thing for which I have a plastic bag from there were cherry tomatoes and they're quite a lot oh and last thing looks a little bit like guava Ta -da! <laughs> yes i hope you enjoyed this video and now you're not as curious on what do i eat what do i buy or what can you buy at british supermarkets and don't forget to stay safe love you all bye